Hey guys, Soldier Girl. This is going to be a corset update for you, um, for you guys. I finally closed my corset. I don't want to say last week, um, and so as of now, I'm wearing it completely closed. And so I uh, just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, and so yeah, and right now it is completely closed. Um, it is pretty comfortable for me. Despite the fact that it may not look comfortable, but it is. Um, I don't have any kind of issues with wearing it closed right now. I feel really, really good, you guys. Um, I finished the master cleanse. I, I still need to record that video. Hoping I can do that one either later today or tomorrow. I still need to do my um, after pictures as well. Um, but as far as... The master cleanse, I finished it. I lost 15 pounds exactly. I was actually pretty excited when I was able to close it um, because I've been getting a lot of questions on, on Instagram about course of training. And you guys know I've been doing it for close to four years now. Um, I did it and then um, it got me on the Dr. Asha, which was just an amazing experience. They flew me out to New York and it was so amazing. Um, and then I got pregnant with a little guy. And I stopped and I resumed my course of training um, from a 22 inch corset to a 26 inch corset um, after I had him when I was about six, maybe um, six to eight weeks postpartum. Um, but yeah, and now I, I've been back at it for about three or four weeks, about almost a month now, I'm gonna say. Um, and I took about a four month break. I didn't realize I hadn't worn it for that long, but. I just got super lazy with putting it on. I was like, oh, I don't want to lace up. And and so, yeah. But I mean, I have, I still have all my corsets. I think I actually sold two of them. The 301s I did sell. I still have one left, um, which I'm kind of holding on to. But I don't like the feel of the 401 anymore. Um, it's the shorter corset offered through Archer Corsets. It's, it's very short, and I just, I don't find it comfortable for me anymore. Um, I like the full coverage of the, the 411, which is this one here, um, and which other one, 201, uh, 205, um, I like, I like the full coverage, I like the length of those. Um, someone asked me, how do you know as far as which corset? Depends on your goals, I would say, um, it depends on the, um, the, uh, what do you call it, the measurement of your, your torso. And I usually measure that under my bust all the way down to about my hip right here. You don't want to um, get a corset that might be a little too long. Like for me in the, in the past, the 426 was always just way too long for my torso. And so um, that's why I kind of settled in with the 411. But your, your torso length is always going to be important um, as well as um, the, the length of your, bu your bust and your hip as well. So it's, it's the hip your bus and then it's your length um, and then for the course of training you want to start off wearing it two hours a day um, and then you slowly increase that um, to wearing it to for me as much as I possibly could which ended up being 21 to 23 um, hours a day now right now I wear it majority of the day if I feel like I need a break I'll take it off for about an hour or so hour or two at the most and then I'll put it back on um, or if for some reason it's just uncomfortable or maybe I applied it wrong or something that put it too low it hit on, on one of my nerves and it, it's very uncomfortable so I'll have to take it off and reapply it um, what else have I gotten lately do you have to always corset train I mean for me I feel like if you want to maintain your shape and you have to continue to um, to still have some level of course of training I mean I feel like when you get to your goal you don't have to train as much or as aggressively um, I wouldn't say that course of training is dangerous I feel that it's the, the wear that can make it dangerous if you try to rush the process it can become a problem if you're using the wrong corset, it, it could become a problem. But with corset training, you guys know it's a gradual process. It takes time. It's not an overnight type process. Um, I feel like 
this time around, of course, the training is easier than it was when I first started because I felt like it was easy for me to bounce back um, into corset training and to cinch in. But, um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else to add for you guys. Um, you guys know I've got all my corsets from Orchard Corsets. Um, and do I plan to buy any more? I'm not, not right now. I feel like I have, all I have right now is 22s. I do actually still have the two 26s and I got those right after I had the baby. Um, when I resumed my corset training, I was in the 26 inches. So I still kept those just in case for some reason my weight does go back up. But for right now, I again am wearing the corset completely closed, um, with comfort, with ease. And so, um... What else? I won't take it off now because um, I went running this morning. I did like three miles and I came back showered and put it back on. And I don't have any intentions of taking it off anytime soon. In fact, I probably won't take it off until tomorrow morning when I go for my run again. And so, other than that, I'll leave it there. And I will see you guys all in the next update. Later, guys.